How did you do last night? Um, oh, I did good. Bubba woke up a few times, but I had a good night. These two had a sleepover, and Biddy slept on the trundle bed that pulls out under Belle's bed. Was it so much fun? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And then, since it's Saturday morning, I said, Mommy will bring up donuts after. Mm -hmm. and so they're having some chocolate donut bowls, mm -hmm. and those are peach cobbler donuts. Do you like them? Mm -hmm. And in a little while, we are going to have hot chocolate. Oh, yes. <laughs> what movie did you guys watch last night? We watched Mulan 1. What did you think about Mulan? Was it kind of scary at times? Mm -hmm. The Huns are kind of scary. Yeah, they're the villains, and I'm scared of them. Mm -hmm. I'm scared, but Mulan was brave. Because Emma right. hurt Mulan. The Huns are, are not kind, are they? Yeah, well, oh. sometimes they are well, well but, the but the baddest one that looks white. But the I... other bad villain is but I... the one with the eagle. <gasps> one time I woke up, <laughs> and then I saw, <laughs> and then I saw Biddy sleeping, and I quiet, mommy, Bubba sweep. You know what and then I, I whispered, Betty, are you asleep? And she had nothing, so she was asleep. Oh, she was asleep. So you were the first one to wake up. Mm -hmm, I was the first one to wake up, and then Dick woke up, and then suddenly, a mommy came in. And then we went in the makeup room. Where you like to color and mm -hmm. snoop? Hi. They talk. Do the toys coordinate? Just what every parent wants, a noise-making toy that causes your other noise-making toy to start making noise. It really is cute, though. I like when they harmonize. Oh, yes. I might be vlogging. So, a little update for you on Rhett. He is seven months old. I'm still breastfeeding. He started solids at six months. He's a really good eater. You can tell how chunky he is. I haven't weighed him in a little while now. I do have a scale here at home, which is nice because appointments have been kind of thrown off from the coronavirus. But last time I weighed him, he was over 20 pounds. <laughs> Clothes wise, it seems like he's in a lot of six to nine month stuff. Some of the onesies, it seems like are starting to get kind of short in the torso, but he is super smiley, very responsive. Anybody walks in the room, anybody's talking, like even while he's eating, if he hears other voices or can tell somebody new has come in, he like has to turn, look at them and smile. And then he goes back to what he was doing. He is such a sweetheart and seems to be quite a people person. He wants to get his hand in my face or on my amber necklace. I'm surprised that thing hasn't broken. You are so cute. Speaking of the amber necklace, I've had some people ask me, like, how's it been going with migraines? And remember when I did that video uh -huh. about my reality check or whatever, and I was just kind of explaining some of the changes uh -huh. I'd made and how they had... Sorry, just a second. And how they had really positively helped me. Um, I fell out of that migraine cycle that I was in for a little while. I'll link to that video below. But I hadn't had a migraine since that video, and then last week I had one. But it was very clear to me the reason why I had like gone past dinner time, not eaten. Skipping a meal can apparently be a trigger for me. It ha seems to have been. Since having him, I think... I don't know, my body is just putting out a lot to breastfeed, and I think if I am late eating a meal or something like that, that can actually trigger a migraine. And it was just one night last week, last Friday, I think Bub was coming home late. 
and I thought I'll just wait for him to eat, but I should have had some kind of snack in there in between the late afternoon and, I don't know, eight o'clock or whatever it turned out to be by the time I ate dinner. That wasn't good, but I didn't have anything like, I didn't have any kind of like rebound headache after that. So I think I kind of learned my lesson there. And this week I've been eating healthy snacks, um, just kind of getting back on that because I'm still drinking a buttload of water every day really staying true to that and you know I'm eating some good things but I sort of dropped off on the healthy snack thing and really how vital that is to um, preventing migraines for me. Gotta take care of yourself. Sometimes it's hard because you just get all drawn in and what your kids need and just getting stuff done. And I guess that was my little recent reminder to myself to not let myself be an afterthought, you know? But that is the only migraine I've had in months here. So I'm really happy for that. Wish I could be part of that world. My mom. Bubba, what are you doing? Daddy. What are you doing there? <laughs> Hi everybody, here's Bubba over here. Um, we are on our way to a local orchard where it is strawberry season. And one of the things they do is strawberry ice cream and you can also buy big packs of fresh strawberries. Oh are you excited ladies yeah. and we got little Bubba back there of course he's facing the other way and we were also just discussing Bub's Father's Day gift which is not gonna be a surprise to him but I think it will be good that he knows about it because he can start plotting he's gonna be getting one of those Blackstone griddle things I think fried rice that's kind of one of the first things that's, that I think comes to people's mind but tons of things you can do on there breakfast. Wheels are, wheels are turning. We're looking at Pinterest. We're coming up with all kinds of things because, you know, Bub, Bub has a natural interest in cooking, but this is going to give him space and just freedom to do all sorts of things. I think we're going to be eating good yeah. for a while this oh, yeah. summer. I didn't vlog a whole lot for the remainder of yesterday, but we got outside and spent a lot of the afternoon evening outside. And for those of you who are swimming at your house, and you're like, oh, it's kind of a pain to get all the kids in and then get them changed and then we're gotta get dinner and all that stuff. Like, I just packed a little quick grab it out of the fridge dinner for them, just made some sandwiches, some pirate's booty, some yogurts, some water, and just grab it out and they can eat it just right outside the pool, you know? That's the easiest thing. And then, jump right in, resume swimming. It's so much easier that way if you just plan ahead slightly. It's like the days for me, I always went to a pool, it was a public pool, really close to uh, mom and dad's house, and you'd just stop swimming, you'd wrap a towel around yourself, you'd scurry off to the snack bar, grab a hot dog, grab some nachos, get a candy bar, whatever, and then get back in and start swimming. So that's kind of the vibe I'm trying to recreate outside. Now when we get this bub cooking on this Blackstone, he's gonna be throwing together, like it's gonna be the ultimate pool snack bar. That way. Strawberry shortcake. That's what you're in. What do you think of it? Are you digging in? Okay, here's our orchard haul. We came home with twice as many strawberries, but we dropped some off to um, Nana and Papa because we figured that's a lot to use and they're really ripe and so sweet. We also picked up a couple kinds of salsa. I've had their pineapple before, it's amazing. The bacon is something new and we thought it might be good because I like to put um, salsa on eggs and so kind of a breakfasty take on salsa. 
And then I just mushed up um, half of a banana and a couple of really ripe strawberries and this guy right here. He's loving it. Yeah, he's really growing up, guys. He's really growing up. Playing with little people. Meanwhile, Sophia the First seems to be the hot cartoon in this house now. What is it you're trying to do today? I'm trying to program our garage because we switched garages. Oh, by the way, we haven't even told everybody that you have a dope new truck. Oh yeah, I have a dope new truck. It's awesome. It is a uh, GMC Canyon. It is it's gorgeous. Awesome. Yeah, it's beautiful. We love it. A little fun fact you might not know about me is I really know what I like when it comes to vehicles. I think it comes back to um, uh, many days I spent on a swing in our front yard looking at every single car that came by and I would memorize makes and models and stuff and I like a good truck. This is one hot truck my friends. And it's just the perfect size. Um, the Canyon is smaller than a Sierra but you know it's bigger than like your Ford Ranger or S10 style truck. Inside, still rocking the new car smell. Bub's got some golf clubs in there. The old glider that was here, it was dark brown. It had like a leathery looking finish on it and a little ottoman thing. It pretty much bit the dust. Some of the little like things underneath, some of the supports that come under the seat. They were like coming apart. We were trying to fix it. It wasn't working. And I really wanted something to be in that place that looked a little less like, hey, I am a glider. You know, I wanted it to look a little more chair-like. We've got this dark stuff. Sorry, the living room is a mess. But you know, I wanted something there that just looked a little more furniture-like. And this is called a glider recliner. It also swivels. It's so comfy. Was it Wayfair? I'll have to double check and put the link underneath, but it is the most comfortable thing ever. Here's what I love about it. It's completely silent. The other one just develops so many little clanks and noises. You know how they do. Chair with that much movement, it just happens. But this one is so silent and just, you get up out of it, you um, put the recliner back in, you put the recliner out, everything you do is just really, really quiet and nice. So here's our little model here. Hello. Hi, beauty. You'll listen when it's time for nap? Me too. Oh, good. Sometimes we have a little issue when mommy or daddy declares that it's nap time and then there's like a little revolt, particularly from Biddy over there. So, hi. So I'm glad they're turning over a new leaf today. So now it's nap time. I'm nursing Baba. ABC is re-airing The Last Dance which I absolutely loved the first go round is a 10 part series on Michael Jordan and the Bulls. Um, so, so good. This is the episode where um, they're focusing a lot on Dennis Rodman. Um, but I, in the 90s, me and dad and pup, and we, we were watching the Bulls like crazy during their playoff runs and everything. So, um, yeah, I don't mind watching this again. And a lot of times we do have captions on because there's a child sleeping somewhere not that far away and it's like, uh, we don't want it to be too loud. So, we know Michael Jordan's a super athlete. Obviously a legend, like no matter what. But has anybody else noticed how wonderfully symmetrical his face is? Like, if the NBA didn't work out, Dude could have gotten a career in modeling for sure. No doubt. Bubba says, I'm here to help with anything to do with this here pressure washer. Anything you need me to do, I'm here to assist. Bubba's got a new pressure washer. He's been doing things with the garage. Uh, I'm trying to think what else he's done as note today. Dump something in the pool. It needed to be dumped in there. Need some ice cream. Need some ice cream. What are you doing with that, huh? You like that? Do you like it, Bobo? <laughs> I can push it away and then I can push it back. Oh, yes. 
might talk for a second about my May favorites because I feel like a lot of the things I had set aside I have like a little area where I put things that I really think are going to be my favorites of the month and a lot of those things actually fell into my summer makeup restarter kit video so I will link to that if you haven't seen it it's just kind of like a quick summary look it's a few like little twists you might put on your look for the change in seasons there were some fun like lip and cheek products in there um, a quick little easy shadow stick look. So those kinds of things are really my monthly favorites, but I thought I'd share a few more. Lip-wise, this Rimmel Provocalypse, I know I've talked about these before, but this is such a good long-wearing lip color. Um, the shade I really wear the most is the one called Wish Upon a Berry, but there's also, you know, a more intense one that I like as well. This is kind of like a medium pink on the lips, and then it's got the top coat that's kind of like a gloss, sort of, but it feels very balmy and it just wears really nicely all day. I'm a big fan of that product. Also the Superstay Ink Crayon. I got a new one of these in a shade called Laugh Louder and it's a really beautiful bright warm red. Just to show you in a swatch here, really beautiful intensity with those. And I like how they kind of um, have this feeling of melting down on the lips almost. You know, they are a matte finish, but when you put them on, they feel nice and thin and comfortable. So I really like that. This is such an awkward way to try to shoot this. I was just going to show you a swatch real quick. This is one of those Revlon um, glass, shine melting glass, whatever they call it. The second coming of lip butters, but they have a shade called Rum Raisin. I think they kind of took that shade from the Super Lustrous line because I really recognize that name. I think my sister wore that. But it's kind of like a deep, dusty plum, dusty rose, and I really, really like this color. Um, the formula is super shiny. I feel like it's a little thinner a hair more greasy feeling than the L'Oreal Color Reese shines, but still like a nice product. While we're in up close mode here, I'm kind of rediscovering my Gen Nude eyeshadow palettes from Bare Minerals. I have the copper one and I also have this neutral one. I'm really digging the neutral one um, because these shades here are very like rose goldish and it's just beautiful the way they all come together. This is even a pretty crease shade. You've got nice dark tones to work with too, so I'm loving that. As I mentioned in my outdoor video, the Becca bronzer in the shade Maui Nights is a beautiful, beautiful summery blush. Um, it's got a lot of rosiness in it, so it's just not your typical bronzer at all. It's kind of like bronze mixed with a little bit of berry or rose. It's so, so pretty as a blush. If you have that, um, consider using it as blush. And then also from Juvia's Place, the Saharan Volume 2 blush palette. Just a really unique grouping of shades for a blush palette. I'm going to turn my camera around here so we get a more accurate look at them. Um, the shade called B is looking way, way darker than it actually is. It's just a plum. It's looking like dark brown on my camera, but Yara is a nice bronzer shade. We've got a shimmery blush right here with Sola. Um, I would use that as highlight right there, the Zoba shade, and then these two gorgeous matte blushes, one more orangey, one more of a like just kind of classic coral warm pink. I love it so much. These shades have been really fun to use. It only takes a little bit of them, but I like how I feel like I've got bronzer, um, multiple blushes I can go with for a look, and then highlight kind of all in one palette. I'm thinking this could be a really pretty eye look palette too. I haven't tried it on the eyes yet, but that's my next step, so love that. So anyway, very rough, very rough look at my makeup. I'm looking rough a little bit now. Just been trying to get things done, and I feel like I haven't even been paying attention to my makeup, and it's kind of looking a little smudgy here. But I knew I'd sort of already covered my May faves. I had a few extras to add, so how do we do this? Let's just throw it in this vlog. So there you go. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.